Hi. So uh, I'm all clean shaven. I just got back from work and I wanted to show you a video um, that I put together yesterday uh, that people have been requesting. It's a tour of my casita, uh, which I found used on casitaclub.com. Uh, they have a forum there with a classified section, so I'll go ahead and put the link to that in the video description. And um, here's the tour. So here we go. This is going to be a pretty quick little tour. Um, like I said, this is a 2014 Casita Patriot Deluxe. That means it's a 13-foot model. Um, so you're looking at the front entrance right there. And the closet on um, camera left there. And then you've got a fridge. Um, a little bit of storage below that. And above it as well. Some people put microwaves uh, in there. Then you'll see the rest of the kitchen over there. I've got a cutting board made by Camco that I used to cover the sink for a little more counter space. Some storage up there, hooks, hooks, and my little simple human garbage can. And two burner stove that I really only use for boiling water because um, I don't like to cook in here. I will show you my cooking setup in another video. And then this here is my bathroom, which is a shower toilet combined and a fan and a window I have a little curtain here and in here there is some storage there's also some storage on the other side over there if you can see it where I can put toilet paper and such and the good thing about fiberglass is that suction cups love it so you can put things everywhere. I haven't yet, and I kind of don't intend to. So this dinette is just about the size of a full-size bed, um, and that is what it folds down into. Um, looking above it, you have your fantastic fan, and the carpeted ceiling, you can see there's carpet on the walls as well. Some people, such as myself, upon first seeing that, um, I think it's a little weird uh, to have carpet up there, but it actually makes the place quite cozy and provides some good insulation, which fiberglass does not have on its own. So I figure um, what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I will show you what it takes to put down the bed, which really isn't much. Basically this thing just comes off right here, comes off real easy, and I just lay it on the side. That's my bedding right here. This is my bedding. So I just put that over here. I move these poles out of the way. Hopefully I'm not just blocking the entire thing. I probably am. Probably have to do this again. And then I sit down over here and just slide this into place right here. And then uh, these, I put them up like this. And I fold them down at the same time just like this. Then you got your flat surface. I've got a uh, foam topper that goes right on top of this. Sheet and blanket go down in seconds and I am ready to go to sleep. I'm 5'8". It's pretty comfortable for me. I like it. It's, it's pretty great. Um, I should also say that I have not gone mod crazy like a lot of people in this community, but I have done um, a few little things like some lighted switches um, and I added shocks and, and that work was done by Conrad at um, Little House Customs Arizona. He and his wife Lynn are great people and I highly recommend their shop if you can't get to the um, original Little House Customs in Texas. So I will put a link to that in the uh, description of this as well. So I hope this tour was helpful and I uh, appreciate um, those of you who have been watching. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button there and um, I'll keep on making them.